<laughs> hey guys, today's episode is slightly different and uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a Van Helsing costume for cheap. This is in line with uh, 2013 Halloween. So uh, my goal is to actually make a budget under $50, okay? But of course I do not have all the materials but I will try my best to stick around this budget. You are going to need a black trench coat, a black vest, a more formal black vest. This is actually in dark blue because I don't have one that is in black. A black fedora hat, black pair of jeans. Um, you can of course use any type of pants. Black underwear, a wig. You can either use hair extensions or a wig. I decided to have hair extensions because this was cheaper. Black shoes. I have a pair from Adidas or a pair of black boots which I also have from when I served my national service for my country. A crossbow looking blaster, this is by Nerf, it's their new Nerf Rebel Guardian crossbow. Let's get to work. Begin by taking your fedora hat and uh, just maybe getting a nice shape of it. Press around the sides and uh, make sure everything's in place. Take out your hair extension and uh, at first what I did was I measured it into three different um, pieces and I cut it out from there. Um, however, for my future um, hair extensions, I actually cut it up to about 8 pieces and uh, thereafter I actually used um, safety pins to install them in place. You can use other methods such as maybe hot glue or you know even scotch tape or even sewing it in place. But uh, this was the fastest, the cheapest and the most efficient way which I found uh, to be useful. Yep, so this is what I did. Hey guys, this is the final costume all put together. Uh, I have all my clothing on as well as my boots down below. I uh, have my Van Helsing crossbow in its finished form over here. Um, there have been some um, dry brushing and weathering done to this blaster. And uh, as you can see over here, it looks much more worn now. So uh, a lot of it is actually done with um, spray paint. I did not use acrylic paint or enamel. So uh, what I did was, uh, I didn't want to go out to buy some, so I just used spray paint and uh, sprayed onto my brush and uh, actually did the weathering on this blaster. So over here it is a bit harder to do uh, the way I did it uh, so some of the uh, weathering may look a bit artificial especially in this area uh, but there are areas that I did actually like um, how it turned out and uh, I think I did quite an okay job uh, considering I seldom actually do dry brushing on my blasters so you know uh, always trying to test out new things and hope that uh, in future, maybe I can improve on it. Yep, so yeah, just show you guys an up close on the Van Helsing crossbow. Uh, I will also add in some pictures.
Once you put on everything, it looks more or less something like this. I decided to use a different color vest. Uh, the one in the earlier part is dark blue. This is a, a medium to dark grey. And uh, it looks a bit formal though, so it doesn't really blend in the whole costume. I used also another pair of black uh, jeans. The other one was actually very, uh, a very skinny fit, so it looked like Van Helsing became like a hippie or you know some kind of a punk ass vampire slayer guy. I don't know. I am Van Helsing. Dead speaks like Batman. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's uh, something very different from my normal videos. I know it is a bit past Halloween actually, but um, I tried to get this video up before Halloween. Uh, unfortunately, because of the weathering, uh, spray paint, so on and so forth, uh, it did actually set me back quite a bit. So not to worry. I mean, you guys can also, you know, uh, take this how-to video to do for maybe some of the costume parties, even next year's Halloween. Or for those of you who are into cosplay, yeah, this, maybe this is something you can also uh, follow. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys dress as during Halloween this year and what you think of my overall Van Helsing costume. Do you like it? Let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked today's video guys and uh, thanks for watching.